So hi, Christian. Hi. We're here at uh, Soundflow, right? That's correct, yeah. Uh, I'm the founder and CEO of Soundflow. Um, if you don't already know about Soundflow, it's a workflow automation platform for creative people, sound designers, music producers, etc. Uh, I was one of those myself uh, 10 years ago, working in Pro Tools you know, as a sound designer. Uh, and then whenever I had an idea, I would find myself having to click 25 times you know, with a mouse on all these different small, tiny buttons, and then send something over to ISO back again. And by the time I'd done that, I completely forgot why I was doing it, you know. So uh, I, I was searching for a solution that could automate some of that for me, you know, click on all those small buttons. And because, you know, when you make a decision as a creative person, you don't want to get stuck in doing all that tedious work. Uh, so Soundflow now is a, an attempt at uh, solving that problem, being the solution to that. Um, so at the heart, it's a way to add support for using hardware devices like the Stream Decks that we see here, or the iPads that we see over here, or even a MIDI keyboard, or an iPhone, or your, uh, even the, you know, the regular keyboard on your Mac, to then automate doing things in Pro Tools that would otherwise take you a long time to do. Um, so that's at the heart of it. Uh, if you uh, download our, you know, when you download Soundflow, you'll get automatically installed 1,700 macros that we've already built for you for Pro Tools. And you can see here the Stream Deck just shows me everything that's available. So that's inside Pro Tools here. Uh, we're also launching support for Isotope RX with all of these different modules. You know, it can be difficult to remember shortcuts for them or you know, how, even just get a list of everything that's available to you. So this makes it very simple to send something to RX from Pro Tools, use your favorite model, module, uh, talk, you go into composite views, so you're processing everything, and then send it back. Or here, for example, we have a plugin deck that just shows all your favorite plugins, and you can just easily add them to a track if you want to figure out, uh, just instead of having to go through a menu. Again, reducing all these mouse clicks. So um, is, it, is it kind of exclusively for Pro Tools at the moment? Oh, sorry, I can't hear you. Is it uh, pr Pro Tools only at the moment? Uh, so uh, in, uh, from the DAWs, you could say that Pro Tools is absolutely the best supported one. Uh, we do have power users who use it with Logic and Ableton and Cubase and Nuendo. Uh, but at the moment, Pro Tools is m the m most supported one. Uh, last year, we, added, um, we entered into a partnership with Avid. So that means we're now able to work closely with them to add even deeper support. Uh, but we do also want to add support for more DAWs in the future. Isotope here is one example of a different app. Uh, it's not an, a DAW, but it is uh, one step in the way to add support for more things. If we look here at the Stream Deck Plus, that's a new device we're adding support for now, where in addition to these buttons that can control things, here I can choose I, I'm remote controlling the Matrix uh, audio device uh, right now. So we can control its volume here. So with these knobs, you, you begin to be able to do things that are not just commands. They actually can be used creatively. So these can also be assigned to faders and Pro Tools. So if you don't have a fader with you uh, and you still want some hands-on control, this can be used that way. Uh, so yeah, we, we're trying to expand into more hardware like the Stream Make Plus. Uh, we hope to add support for the loop deck in the future, and then also more software, of course. Uh, at the end of the day, Soundflow you know, is in the middle between your hardware and software, and we try to make it so that uh, you, know, you don't have to care about which app is open. More, you, know, you just hit a button and it does things for you. So, yeah. so um, how easy is it to, uh, to actually set a, um, to set a macro or like a, to set one up? Yeah, so I mean, it depends a little bit on what you're trying to do. Obviously, uh, at the simplest form, you can just drag and drop uh, a sequence of things that is already pre-built by somebody else. Uh, for example, we have like nearly 2,000 uh, commands for Pro Tools, so you just drag and drop them. Uh, if you can find something that others have already requested, uh, if you go to our store, uh, there's over 500 different packages containing all sorts of macros and scripts built by our community and shared. So if you're a, a user of Soundflow, you can access that for free. Um, we also have even more powerful tools like uh, the Bounce Factory app made by Andrew Sheps, who's sitting right behind us here. 
Uh, and uh, I'm sure you could get uh, Andrew to talk more about that. But he's developed this uh, integration with the mom deck. He's built something called Bounce Factory. So if you're bouncing a whole record of, uh, you know, let's say 10 songs and 10 mixes per song, uh, sometimes if it's Atmos, like you need to do even more. You could do hundreds of, of bounces that you need to do for a record. With Bounce Factory, you can take snapshots of your session in the different states. So let's say you solo the vocals, you do a solo of the drums, you do a mute of the vocals, and just record all the snapshots, and that'll take you like 10, 15 minutes. And you can open up and do it for all of the songs on the record. And then at the end, you just hit Bounce, and it will do all that bouncing for you. And that can take hours, especially if you have any outboard gear and need to do it real time. And uh, you know, Andrew uh, coded it so that uh, it will text you after each bounce. So you can, you can be anywhere else. You can be outside, have a beer, and you'll get a text when it says, uh, bounce 127 is now done. You know, uh, now you can have your weekend, and uh, you didn't have to sit and care about it. Um, so it's really, really a powerful platform where you can, you, know, you can go from just using what's built in. You can go to the store, get something that professionals like Andrew built. And he coded that himself, by the way. So he learned, like he taught himself how to write these scripts. Uh, and then if you want something even more, you can go to our forum and learn how to build this stuff yourself via our community. We've had tons of YouTube videos that, that teach you every step of the way. And then, yeah, if, if you get stuck, you can always ask on our forum and, and get help from the community. So, so um, is there like a price for the, for the kind of suite or what, what's the kind of like pricing structure? Yeah, so the way it works is Soundflow is a subscription-only product, so it's uh, $9.99 per month, and then you get access to everything I just talked about. Uh, some of the apps, like Bounce Factory, has its own add-on pricing. That's a very big app, so to speak. Uh, all the Pro Tools macros I showed, all the Isotope macros, all of these uh, you know, pre-designed plugins, uh, that's all included in our regular subscription. The 500 packages I talked about, all of that is included. Um, and then, you know, there's various smaller tools that you can add on, such as the new mom deck here. That's uh, 39 bucks uh, on the store. And that allows you to control the matrix, uh, for example, anything Datman related. Uh, this also comes with, so anything that you get for the stream decks will automatically also work on an iPad. Uh, so this is another app made by Nersheps that's essentially like a, an extended way to view colors of clips and tracks and Pro Tools, where you can name each color. So if your drums are always blue, you can name that color blue. Um, so yeah, it's, it's a whole suite of things, but most of all this you just get uh, with our subscription. Um, and the reason for that is that uh, you know our users need a lot of support getting all this stuff done. So for us, it's very important that we build and foster this community and that we're present there and not just, you know, sell you something once and then it's on, like you're on your own. Uh, so it, it was very important for me. I, I built this originally as a way to get to meet sound designers from around the world. And here we are at NAMM, you know, getting to actually experience that. So it's, it's really amazing. Amazing. Well, uh, Christian, thank you very much. Thank you.